G.A. What's up, man? What's good with you? Monday. Yeah, this is a no work Monday, though. No, not for oh, you, yeah. but for in general. I thought. I forgot. What's the I holiday? Thought, then? A President's Day. Oh, right. I thought it would be loaded with kids. <laughs> I know. No, That's what I do. These motherfuckers want to try to have me no. here at 7 at night. They was probably chilling playing video games all day. Sure. They was going to show up at 5. No, they was up all night last night. Yeah, turned up. That's what it was. <laughs> all right. Oh, uh, G, yeah. you trained your son. You were trained your fighter. Yeah. Michael Williams Jr. Uh, breaks his jaw yeah. in sparring. Yeah. Uh, pulls out of the Adrian Brunner fight. His dad... Uh, does a couple of interviews. Yeah. Uh, basically coming at Roy Jones. Roy just did an interview, uh, I guess, trying to give his side. Yeah. What would you make of the situation? I mean, first of all, they, 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 they got to understand. The father got to understand, too. Like, shit happens in boxing. Like, I seen dudes get cut. I seen them get knocked out. I seen them, you know what I mean, get their jaw broken. I seen motherfucker break their hand. These type of things happen in the game. This is not the first time somebody been injured. The problem, everybody all hyped. They got everybody hyped up because because we wanted to see the fight. You know what I mean? We wanted to see Broner back on this shit. Um, the major problem I felt like was one. He trying to blame Roy, but you put him in Roy's care, and you trying to take you trying to take Roy credit from him as a trainer. Roy, Roy ain't do nothing wrong. People keep saying that's too close to a fight. I seen I've seen world class fighters. Get in the ring the week of the fight just to get a look. Not for, not now listen, not for full blown sparring, but I'm saying they got little young boys in there throwing punches at them just to get a look before they leave, yeah, the, you know what I mean, to go to the actual fight. Yeah. So the week before is definitely not an unheard of thing. Um, also, they took the fight short notice. So Roy just trying to make sure the boy prepared. But what I didn't like was the dad kept mentioning, he fucked the bag up. Man, you know what I mean? Who wouldn't want to get paid? We, we, we was trying to get this money. You know what I'm saying? Even still, when he found out his, his jaw was fractured, he was still trying to see if he could make the fight happen. You know what I'm saying? Then, you know, just, I mean, just trying to put the blame somewhere else. If you felt like that, why you even sitting him with Roy? I mean, you knew why you sitting him with Roy, because he's Roy Jones. And you know he know what he's doing. He a world-class fighter. So, you know what I mean? If you feel like that, you shouldn't even send him. But he did, and shit happens. And that's how that's how I feel. And Roy trying to explain himself, I, that kind of irritated me because Roy, man, you Roy Jones Jr. You ain't gotta explain yourself to nobody, bro. You know, you know what you you gave your body. You know the things you've been through in this sport. Why would you even try to sit down with somebody and explain yourself or something like that? You know what I mean? That that young man got his jaw broken. Shit happens. You know what I mean? William Senior was kind of kind of alluding to the fact that. Roy wanted to pull the kid from the fight. Yeah. And then when the kid didn't want to get pulled from the fight, he put him in there to spar. I got the vibe that he, he was saying Roy was trying to line him up to get hurt. Yeah, but this is what Roy was trying to do, trying not to get him hurt. What he didn't understand is, what the father didn't understand, right? You got your son to 19 and 0, right? Fighting ducks, so-called ducks. I ain't gonna say everybody was a duck, because I knew a couple of guys he fought. He fought some tough guys, but you fought guys where your son was always the A-side, always the bigger guy, right? The one time you step him up in competition, he gets stopped. But he gets stopped by John Bowser, who just got cooked by Richard Hitchison. Now you gonna put your son in the ring with Broner? Broner gonna kill him. That's what we're saying, without saying it. Like, I ain't trying... Listen, bro, I, I know you, this is an opportunity, and I understand that, but it ain't worth your son going in there and getting the shit beat out of you. Broner, like it or not, Broner ain't been in the ring in a while, but he's still a different level. He going to beat your son the fuck up, but I'm not trying to tell you that. And what I'm trying to tell you is we should pull him because he don't really look like he's ready for 10 rounds with Adrian Broner. You know what I mean? And obviously, the gods made that happen by him getting his jaw broken. You know what I mean? That Roy didn't break his jaw. It'd have been different. He'd be like, yo, Roy was down there arguing with my son. He socked my son and broke his jaw. That's something, that's something different. He got you got your jaw broke by another guy that you've been sparring. You know what I mean? Who wasn't they the dad said he was like a middleweight at first. He wasn't a middleweight. Come to find out. They come to find out it was a 35 pounder. So it's like, you know what I mean? Then you could keep coming up with excuses, but his jaw got broken. What are you supposed to do? Some people feel like Roy was wrong. Some people feel like Mike Williams Sr. is doing damage control. Yeah. I'm going to tell you this, too, right? The kid, what, 23 years old? Yeah. If the kid felt like he was being mistreated, why are you, why are you allowing him to continue the mistreatment? I'm a grown man. 
Fuck no, I ain't sparring today. I mean, it's plenty of fighters out here who speak for themselves. If you feel like you ain't ready, fuck you getting in the ring to spar for. If you feel like you just sparred yesterday, I ain't sparring today. God, I mean, y'all could be mad at me. I'm going to go run. I'm going to get myself together and do what I got to do. But I ain't sparring today. If you're a grown man and you feel like, listen, the young man learned the lesson. If you feel like you being mistreated, one, and you feel like you, you shouldn't be sparring today, then what, how hard was it to say no? The dad get mad. Like, man, what the fuck? His jaw got broke, man. Roy, he shouldn't have been doing this and that. Well, you should have been there with him. Or you should have been training him like you always did. If you always was his trainer and then you send him to Roy, then that means you trust Roy. But you send him to Roy, he get his jaw broke. Roy didn't, like I said, Roy didn't break his jaw. Somebody else did. Like I mean, but shit happens. I seen guys get cut. I seen motherfuckers get knocked out before fights and still fight. Or they pull out because they just got knocked out. I seen it happen. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's the sport. What you think? Now, the John Bowser fight, he got stopped, but I think he got knocked, knocked down. Second round. He got knocked down five times. Yeah, I don't know how many times. I just know he got stopped like, yeah. in the second round. He got he got knocked down five times yeah. in the fight. Um, this was, I guess, going to be his his cover, his get back. Yeah. Now, I don't. I've never broke my jaw. Can Michael Williams still be a quality fighter? Yeah. Like, is it still time? Listen, he a kid. He's 23. He's not a kid, literally, like where he's in grade school, but he's a young man. It's going to take him five months, probably less than that, because it's a fractured jaw. It's not fully broken. Yeah. But we're going to say a broke jaw. So it's going to take five to six months for him to be all the way back. He'll be fighting by, like, fucking September. I mean, he'll be right back in the ring. As far as the way Michael Williams Sr. handled this, should this be handled behind closed doors? Like, is it? Is it... it wasn't nothing to handle. His jaw broke. He cried like a baby. I mean, no disrespect to the old man, but he cried like a baby. He looked for so many excuses, and he kept mentioning the bag. I don't like that, because if you could do it once, you could do it again. And I mean, I don't know about everybody else, but I believe in magic. If I believe you could pull a hat, a rabbit out of a hat, you could do it again. You know what I'm saying? So if you, if we got a fight like this once, we could do it again. You know what I mean? All you got to do is stay ready. That's why they tell you to stay ready, because the phone call going to come. You know what I mean? He was like, man, it's opportunity. Man, he fucked the money up. We wanted to make some money, you know what I mean? Come on, bro. It, it sounded like to me like he had big plans for that money, which was his son's money. That's what it sounded like to me. Now that's kind of crazy, because if I was Michael Williams Jr., I'd be like this. I'd be looking both ways like that. Both of you niggas is crazy. Like, I'm getting away from both of y'all. Well, the reason why I said behind <laughs> closed doors is because if you had an issue with Roy. Yeah, he should have handled that because now he's showing your colors. Now you're showing your colors. You, you know what I mean? You're reacting like a lady. And you're reacting like a lady, because, all right, you ever knew that lady? In the neighborhood, she know her son outside doing bullshit, but the one time he get caught, she want everybody else to get caught too. Like, you want, my son wasn't the only one there. Like, come on, miss. Like, your son be out here doing all types of bullshit. Like, so now he acting like that lady. Like, you acting like your son can't get his jaw broke. It, it, listen, this is boxing, bro. This is boxing. So it shit happens, you know what I'm saying? I just don't like how he went at Roy, like trying, trying basically discredit Roy. Like, I don't like that. I think that was, that, was, that wasn't cool at all. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean?